All right, let's pile it on. Let's get out of here. That's a lot of fish. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Mecha and Monster Mondays. Today, we've got a very interesting movie to cover today. But before we get into the movie itself, I have a very special guest. It's my turn? Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, it's you. Hi, um, I'm Raphael, uh, or Raph. Either one works. Uh, my social media is that one art guy. It's a lot of underscores. I'm that type of person in situations like this. Mm. And uh, believe it or not, uh, this isn't our this isn't our first time like having a yeah. podcast together. Type yeah. of thing. It's, it's, it's been a while, but we have done this before. We have history in situations like this because like history. The, I like the first one we were on is like okay this is a long ass name I did not name this thing uh, <laughs> this is like a just for you studios official podcast it's like yeah. super long yeah it was it was essentially just like the the podcast for the channel um but you but even like not just that we also had like out of sync stories yeah which i don't know it's dead i think it's dead i I think it died i think i think that in general the podcast has been on a very long hiatus which is fair because now it's kind of more or less like rebranded for short films but yeah yeah like yeah yeah like there's not much it's just more like it's pretty interesting like i I always come back for being either a guest or just like a like anything i just always come back i don't know just when i thought i was out they pulled me back yeah three years later i'm back (laughs) yeah back back from hiatus back from the dead back from uh uh philadelphia i mean a little bit i mean i will say the last thing Mm. before we we talk about the movie we're gonna talk about today Mm. um the funniest thing is that like i went back after you like said like hey do you want to join the pod you want to like be on my podcast i was like hell yeah i was like wait when's the last one i did yeah so i went on there (laughs) It was like the highest view one we had, but all the comments was just more like, "Hey, when's 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 trans crafters coming back?" Oh, yeah, I'm like, yeah. God <laughs> damn it! <laughs> uh, for anyone who doesn't know, on the channel that uh, we used to be on, there was a popular series called Trans Crafters, which was ostensibly like uh, Minecraft uh, Transformers with Transformers, which our good friend Nick, who may at some point be on the podcast, possibly, uh, but who 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 started that up. And it was very popular, but the thing is that it basically flooded every single comment section, and, but... I don't know. I find it really funny every time I see those comments. It's it's like a blessing and a curse at the same it's, time. It's 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 almost like the equivalent of like the 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 uh, retail store being like, "Hey, do you guys have battle toads?" <laughs> it's exactly <laughs> you know like the GameStop situation two thousand seven. Yeah. yeah, no, that that would be it. That's legit the definition. It was it, was, it Trans Crafters was the battle toad <laughs> of Just for You Studios. But anywho, uh, a movie we are covering today is. A classic in several different variations of the definition, uh, the Godzilla entry in the Showa uh, series, Son of Godzilla. But before we talk about the film deeply, I wanted to ask you, so before we started, you mentioned that you have a theory as to why this film was made in the first place, and I want to I wanna get your feel for that. Okay, well, well no, well, here's the thing, I'm going to tell you all right now. I am a fake Godzilla fan. I, like, I'm not the biggest, <laughs> biggest fan. The only reason of knowledge that I ever get is from Marco from, like, the last episode. He, mm-hmm. like, Or, like, an episode before. I'm not so sure when this is coming out. But just yeah. either way, like, the only time I see Godzilla movies is mostly with him. Because either there's nothing's on or just I just humble, happen to stumble upon with him. Just like, what are you mm. watching this time? He's like, oh, he fights his... Fights his monster. <laughs> it's like, yeah, cool. And then that's about it. <laughs> so more or less, you basically like experienced Godzilla kind of vicariously through him. Yeah, yeah. Like he was more obsessed with it as a kid, and like I think the first movie we saw was like Battle Against like All Monsters. Oh yeah, the yeah, first yeah. like that was our first official world opening Godzilla movie. Yeah, kind of like yeah. an introduction. Yeah. Then from that, he went on a bender trying to find all of them, even going on YouTube. But yeah. my theory, okay, so this is my theory because like I know like like how Godzilla started, how it's supposed to be like you know this p- political context thing of just more like you know like guys. Like, you know, there's a real issue of, like, you know, using nuclear weapons and also waste as well. If we keep doing this, this will happen. Mm-hmm. But here's the thing. 
due to the popularity on like monster movies around that time, I don't think they would expect it to be such a hit as it is today. Yeah, definitely. And my theory is that like, well, shit, we got to market this thing to the death. Mm-hmm. So my guess is that like, okay, so what's a great thing that almost every type of genre does? Mm-hmm. We had a cute little guy for the main <laughs> guy. And so they kind of made like, you know, son of Godzilla and with that, I like to think it also had an effect with just, like, stuff that we kind of see today. Kind of like, well, it's just me. Yeah. I could be crazy on this. Like, mm-hmm. let me put my Pepe Sylvia murder board <laughs> right here. We're not, we're, we're right next to the wall. I have, like, tons of photos. Conspiracy theory. Conspiracy like mine. theory. Like, with gremlins to, like, all cutesy animals and all mm. that. Because that's my guess. Like, I don't know. Like, it could be like, that. I could be far off. I could kind of see that. Because, like, yeah. actually thinking about it, I mean, it, it didn't seem like like adding cute baby version of like main person was like really a thing at that point it yet. really wasn't because like if you can go back to like like you know a 1960 movie they wouldn't really like have a market for that whatsoever mm-hmm. i think that was like one of the first few and like people who've seen it's just like wait why don't we just do like a son of godzilla thing like what's that yeah. and then you know the movie part of me kind of also feels like the only thing that was like really doing it at that time was maybe like like some disney movies because like, yeah there's there's like some cu- times when there's like you know like you got like a main character like snow white or something and then you have like the the the, the seven dwarves and they're, like, i was gonna say the foreign animals yeah or, or, <laughs> or even or form even, short men yeah just, just just some silly little dudes which <laughs> silly little but, yeah no but like they didn't but that was never really something that was like used utilized for like the kaiju genre because like you know the whole the old like uh prospect of kaiju is like a ah, big intimidating monsters that fight each other but they're like we need you know like a cute like side character to kind of like yeah. tie it together so uh with that you're not too far off i'm not okay but, i was i'm close i was close but the intent is a bit different because oh, really going into the production history first off this film uh directed by uh jun fukuda it was uh filmed on a pretty small budget and was the first godzilla film to actually have a female writer uh kazuo shiba but Something to kind of keep in mind, though, is that uh, this film was actually in t- made for the in- sole purpose of marketing to the date crowd, ostensibly. The date crowd? Yeah, so, like, you oh. know, like, couples going to see, like, a movie. Oh, the and, date crowd. That You yeah. know what? That explains a lot with, like, the... Lo- okay. Yeah, there's, there's <laughs> aspects of the movie that we'll probably discuss that, like, makes that kind of make sense. But also, like, that I hated that part of the movie. I mean, <laughs> like, I got bored. I was like, oh my god. I mean, like, to be honest, it is pretty. Like, oh, I guess we're doing this then. All right. Yeah. But like, the thing is, it is kind of interesting from that perspective because it's like, in a weird way, it seems like the intent of like Baby Godzilla or uh, Minya, as I guess is the proper name, is um, ostensibly like, oh, you got a cute you have cute marketable plushy monster basically yeah. for like for like all demographics to enjoy the the movie ostensibly and i think that's really funny because like i don't know like i never saw godzilla films as especially like you know oh this is like marketing a, yeah like a niche specific market like th- they are easy to market because it's like oh you know everyone loves a fun monster movie but like you want to make it even more marketable, so you add a little baby version of yeah, Godzilla. Yeah, that was kind of like my theory on that at first, but now knowing it was more like a couple's date thing, that does explain a lot of the boring parts, in my opinion. It's just more that mm-hmm. the story for me, like in general, is just like, you know, you see him like, where's Godzilla going? He's going to that island. Oh, yeah. that's so weird. And then yeah. you hear like this happy, dappy music. Like, oh, yeah. he's going on an uh, adventure. It's like, what the <laughs> fuck am I watching? I, that, that's honestly, I'm very glad you mentioned that because there's one thing I wanted to talk about, which was like the music, like when they have the opening title sequence is so goofy. Yeah, like, and then I see this tropical island like, okay, this is... Where are we? This is so confusing. But before we get too far into the movie, there's some other little aspects of production that I think are kind of interesting. Uh, For one, a lot of the intent with this film, when given that, like, uh, idea of wanting to make a date film, was to be able to find a way to give, like, the monsters a bit more of, like, a human personality, a bit more of, like, features that are, like, more human. And I guess they're... uh, way of doing that was uh coding godzilla as a possibly abusive dad but whatever a little bit i mean like when he said that my my face is just like oh, that, explains, that explains a lot that, that, that it, it does explain a lot <laughs> and 
some other interesting <laughs> facts. <laughs> was but, one of the writers like, oh, it's just right of like me. And then he just like <laughs> gave him like docs and docs information or just how he would treat his kids. Like, you better do it. <laughs> this <laughs> this, this uh, secretly like a vent film. <laughs> like a vent film. Just like my stupid kid would uh, just do the dishes. And it was just like. <laughs> and then meanwhile, the other writer's like, hey, why is all this in the film? Why what? It's you- about me. <laughs> it's how I have my kids. I'm fine. I'm healthy. <laughs> I turf- turned out a perfectly reasonable human being. It's 1960 something i'm perfectly fine Mm, you say that you say that but some other interesting facts about the movie though is that uh when making the suit for this film specifically they made uh what at the time was the biggest godzilla suit in terms of and i quote size and girth nice make of that what you will nice i'm not i'm not elaborating on that any further you know when i looked at that costume he was a little bit more thick he was a little, he bit, was more a thick, little bit more thick but also his face I, is very like rubber chicken it was very like mushy but also i noticed that suits changed in certain shots and there is an explanation was for it like that. breaking all the time or so, is it just more falling apart so the suit was literally too big for the regular godzilla suit actor uh, oh. haru nakajima so they had to occasionally uh bring in a different actor to wear the suit at times and at a point it just kind of was like we need we need uh, different people wearing different suits to, to be able to make this work and along with that we also have uh Minya, who is played by uh, actual name listed online, Little Man Mashan, uh, who is a little person who is known only really for playing Minya. I couldn't find any other credits, which I thought was kind of really? sad. Really? Really. so bizarre. And Was he Baby Godzilla? Uh, basically, yeah. Oh. He was Baby Godzilla. Like, which, which suit? Was it like the weird turkey Dan DeVito looking one, or just more of like <laughs> munchkin him? I... I don't know, actually. Okay. It, didn't, it didn't really say. It didn't <laughs> the, particularly say. It's just, I'll get to his introduction on that, but just like I, I just had to say it at this point. Just like, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go in depth about it at this point. I'm just like, yeah. oh god. <laughs> but and my last interesting fact on the film is uh, there were apparently many deleted scenes in the film, and you want to know what they were? Scenes of Godzilla just being more of, of an abusive parent. See, I knew it. I, I knew. So, <laughs> I knew I, they like, wanted more on that. I was. It was. I was. I was literally going to say when you were saying like, I wonder if the if this was like a vent film for the writer. I was like, hmm, I got something interesting for you later on. And I was right. Then I was right. I was completely you right. You called it. But yeah, I knew how to work. <laughs> I know how to work connection with that film. Something was up. Like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. This whole thing is weird. And then, and then you look at it for like two seconds. You're like, wait, is this just like, was this just a way for like the writer to just have like, um, um, um having a moment, like I a feel, midlife feel, crisis moment. And I feel like every writer does that or something when it comes to like making a script. We're like, oh, I related it based on myself. Then you see the actions, like, what the hell did you do in this situation? Yeah, you're, you, there's like a a, a a specific kind of film when you're watching it and you're like, yeah, nah, this something's coming out of this and i did not want to know about that or it's just more like this happened to somebody and i'm just not knowing it <laughs> yeah i'm just like I just prob- yeah. this, this might have happened but now with all the production stuff out of the way we can get to the film itself oh but boy. i want I, I i feel we have to address something all right. an elephant in the room an elephant sized egg in the room if you will oh god so the mere existence of baby Godzilla brings Jesus. up a question that I have m- multiple questions to bring up before we even really get to the meat of the film. Why does he look like that? Uh, oh, wait. One, oh, that, that question. One, who fucked Godzilla? Oh. But, and even another thought experiment on top of that, the possibility, did someone else fuck Godzilla? <laughs> who? Who could it have been? That's a great question. I'm trying to think on that because, like, well, my idea was just like it was one of those like cheesy porn situations. I'm just like, just like a one off, like one off thing of just like the islander. It was like, oh my god, Godzilla, you're so, you're so thick, and then just yeah, and then it was just like the weird, like you know, your weird like monster. Yeah, yeah. It, <laughs> this is on Spotify. I don't know if I can say this. Like, what's the rating on this podcast? Like, what uh, am I allowed to say? I, 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 I put that E on the podcast so you can say whatever you like. All right, so it's pretty much just like, you know, your default porn type situation, just yeah. like the monster thing. And I'm thinking more like that. But then, like, and wait, then how does she give birth to that? That yeah. or, like... 
maybe it's like a Jurassic Park thing. Yeah, like, 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 like we're late like, at once. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say like I, actually that's a good point. I feel like it could be a Jurassic Park. I don't situation. know. I assumed that, and they forgot about it. It was like, oh shit, I have a kid. Oh, and- <laughs> oh fuck, wait, yeah, I have a child that I left on an island. Hold up. It's like you know, like wait, did I leave the stove on? Type of shit. I think wait, it was like that. Wait, wait, maybe that's maybe that's why there's like that scene of like Godzilla going to the island, and that and that's why they like jump off the plane. Is like Godzilla, like oh fuck, I left my kid. <laughs> like fuck, my kid's ready. But um, but it's like a it has like that vibrator thing. Like yeah. when your tape when your like table is ready for a restaurant, like yeah. oh shit, it's ready. Or or, or or like like the 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 those. I don't know what they're called, like like the baby radio thing, you know? Oh, like the no, it, that's what it, it's a baby radio. Yeah, I there's, think there's like a baby radio under like that pile of rocks. <laughs> but <laughs> but okay, so like so that's your theory. Yeah. My theory is that one of the monsters did did the sick nasty the 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 the, the happy dappy with him happy some, dappy. that's that's a new phrase for me i don't even know if that actually is what that means but you better hold on to that but 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 i have a feeling that one of the other kaiju in this series di- did the sick nasty with him because uh before this podcast i watched uh godzilla versus mech godzilla 2 and and that also has a baby godzilla so many <laughs> but the thing is is that when Godzilla goes back to find uh, baby Godzilla, Rodan is there, and they have a big scuffle. And the joke that everyone makes is that Rodan and Godzilla are fighting over uh, like Child. child custody. Oh, that's <laughs> and I'm funny. like, and I'm like, I'm so it's either I have two I have two theories. It's either Rodan or Gorosaurus because Gorosaurus is literally just a dinosaur. You know that's true. That's true. Other things I was thinking about is, like, when we were talking about, like, Baby Godzilla is how he got abducted by Space Godzilla. Mm-hmm. And that's yeah. the funniest thing. Yeah. Because, like, that's the cutest version. Yeah. My girlfriend loves that version. But then when she saw, like, you know, like, him get captured as a kid, she fucking cried. Was like, yeah. Ah! yeah, I was like, You're gone! Come back! You, I, I, and, and, I guess, and I guess I have another question. Do you think anyone would cry if Minya got captured? <laughs> That's my answer. <laughs> I, I, was, I was gonna say it's like that. Answer. <laughs> the, the silence spoke volumes, but but no. So my 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 theory is that it was either Rodan or Gorosaurus. Now I guess that leaves other questions on the plate. Like, did Gala did 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 Godzilla give whole? Did he did he who did what? Who did what? That's a, that's so many questions. <laughs> but you know sometimes. You gotta leave the questions for the audiences to ponder themselves because we really do. We are not here to answer those questions for you. We are not here to answer if Godzilla gave whole. Okay, he either gave or give. I don't know. Either way, we should probably start on this movie. Yes, we should actually touch on the movie because right. like we are here to talk about a movie. We're just talking about how he banged or how he got the kid. I don't know. Yeah, it's like, like some child listen, service thing should know at this point. I'll, I want to talk about his abusive death. Yeah, like listen. The, the, at, at the at the end of the day, there's a kid, so something did happen. Something happened. All right, he's watching him now. He lost custody. He <laughs> he either lost or won the custody battle in that situation. Yeah, basically. Yeah. But anyways, the movie itself is interesting to me yeah. because, like, the way I would describe it is, like, it's not a particularly, like, strong Godzilla film by itself, and it's not particularly strong, like, in terms of the human story side of it. But, like, the thing is, for me at least, I thought it was a pretty fun, like, vibey kind of, like, Godzilla entry in comparison to, like, other Godzilla films where it's, like, a bunch of time dedicated to, like a scientist plot line that isn't particularly interesting whereas like at least this one has like the fun location i think yeah that's i will say like it's very different from like you know your default like oh he's in tokyo he's destroying the city oh he's on an island this time wow yeah. it's so it's so nice and then yeah you see the island from like you know from set to like you know the big thing it's really funny to see all that shit yeah <laughs> the sets are really fun actually because like i think uh, one 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 of the things with these like later era show entries is that they're like just stupid low budget. Like they have oh, like definitely super super low. Like budget. you could definitely tell it's like you know it's a set. Yeah, and with all the colors too, you can definitely tell it's like a sixties movie. Yeah, that had a that has a bit of a budget. Since now you're telling me it didn't really have much of a budget around the time, but only for more like 
you know, we can build a set, we can build costumes, but that's all we can do. Yeah. Special effects, we can only do beams a couple times. So yeah. But that's what I get. Yeah, but like even then, I I I find the sets really fun. Something about them yeah. has like nice little details. Like I I, I like like the, the the clothing racks like right next to like their like study center and and things like that. But like it's 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 so obvious that it's like you know on a sound stage and that sort of deal. But like I don't know, I don't know. I I, I enjoy Ooh. the vibe. I do remember something. Mm. I do remember one fight. Uh, you can see like when Godzilla's like flipping one of the bug insects. Oh, the, you can the, see the, the, the ceiling. You of can the see set. the fucking ceiling and the light. Like ah shit, they weren't supposed to show that. <laughs> I, I I distinctly remember like writing that down. Uh, writing that down because I was like, wait a minute, did they just did did they like forget to like cut that part of the shot out? I think they did, and I was like, ah oh, shit, they, I, I saw that dude. Yeah, it's like you ain't fooling any one of that, buddy. It's like it's I, really funny though. It is. It is very funny. Like it because it is just like so obvious. Yeah, it's just like, like well, like like we're watching it on like YouTube or whatever. But like imagine seeing it in like the theater and you're just like, what was that? The fuck was that? Well, I, I think everybody is just more enthralled by Godzilla body slamming that little like insect. Mm. Yeah, no, like like Godzilla just f- fucking just like laying that shit out. Yeah. beautiful. But then yeah, you, you also have like, like yeah, yeah, just like fucking slam it wwe style but nah it is it is interesting though because like i do feel like there is at least an interesting aspect to the plot of the movie itself yeah because like so like the whole thing kind of centers around like these scientists trying to create like ostensibly like a weather changing like device that like can change the weather of an island uh which they seem to think is like pretty cool because then they can like you know stop natural disasters from coming and Obviously, when they try to do it, a natural disaster happens. I'm very surprised when I saw, like, the disaster. I'm like, oh, uh, radioactive storm. Oh, they all have cancer and they're going to die. Yeah, oh. I was going to say it's like, <laughs> like, you know, there's, there's like, the, you know, we pr- they probably didn't know as much about, like, radioactive, like, shit as they did back then yeah. as, as we do now so like you know it's not gonna be so much as like this uh, mantis grew three stories tall it's gonna be well, that 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 mantis has super cancer <laughs> yeah that's what i was thinking the whole time too and like i won't say i'm a big fan of like the whole like you know like documented series of like chernobyl and just learning more about it. so like you're yeah. learning a lot about like radiation and like you know more about anything that has to do with like nuclear disasters that happen in history mm-hmm. and my i'm just saying in my version they'd all die yeah it'd be like a horrible but, like skin falling off she's like yeah i'm dying help me <laughs> and it does and it does happen when they get like the junk the jungle fever i'm out of yeah, quotation yeah. jungle fever or almost like cabin fever almost. it's more cabin fever but just like no like two guys should have died at that point yeah they should have just died horribly off screen or just like put their bodies like under a sheet like they're dead what they're dead (laughs) yeah but like the thing that i find interesting about it though is that like at some point they do get a successful test run because then they like get the island to ostensibly like freeze down freeze down like at the end which to me like the whole prospect of it is really interesting because like so godzilla ostensibly was like created from like you know nuclear weapons that like created him through radiation and that sort of thing and godzilla as a whole is like a parable about like the 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 follies of like science used for warfare that sort of thing yeah but i find it super interesting because like i can't not think of like a parallel with like some of the godzilla films that do have like these big scientific like sequences where they do something like really big with like you know testing out like nuclear weapons for the first time because i'm like you know this should should not be tampered with at all because like by the end, when it has, like, Godzilla and his son kind of just, like, cuddling in the snow, that it's like, ah, oh, they'll just, you know, hibernate and they'll be fine. And, like... It's a lie. I think, I think that... It's, Island, a, it's I think, a lie. They're dead. I think that Island's, like, ecosystem has been, like, irrecoverably fucked for, like, eternity because of what you did. It's not, it's not supposed to snow down there. It's not... Yeah, it is not supposed to snow on a tropical island, dude. It is just yeah. not. In, like, a trafficked area for, like, you know, shipyards. For just, like, sh- like you know, ships and all that to, like, take stuff around. Like, they see a storm of, like, you know, snow all of a sudden. It's like, this is a weird-ass Ozo lair. What the yeah. fuck's going on? <laughs> so, like, someone, yeah. like, ripped a tear through time, and now this entire yeah. island is, like, the fucking Alps. Yeah, and I don't blame them just trying to figure out, like, how do we fix this? How do, how do we end this movie? It's just yeah. like, oh, we, we go back to the science project. Yeah. I mean, I mean the the mission. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the mission. The mission. And, and, and then they end it, and it's like, ah, oh, Godzilla will hibernate. And it's like, 
yeah, but everything else on that island is just fuck, dude. But whatever. But I think I think I think that's kind of getting a bit ahead of ourselves now because uh, something we should probably talk about is um, Baby Godzilla. Baby Godzilla. Okay. The little guy himself. Oh my god. Can I can I go in depth about this? Absolutely. Okay. Go, go, I go feel. Ham genuinely super bad for him because like <laughs> immediately when these bugs find this just like let's eat it and then yes. like they won't sit like he out he's like he looks like a gross like he looks like a tadpole rotisserie chicken tadpole <laughs> danny devito it's just like what's, ha- what's happening it's like the moment yeah. where he crawls out of the couch in like the christmas special <laughs> it's like that like where am i how did i get here and then he's just like they keep jabbing him it's just like yeah. stop just leave him alone. I, I, it, it's like i do feel genuinely sad for him because like this this monster's first experience after birth was to be stabbed repeatedly in the chest yeah. and back i don't know if they were trying to eat him i think they were just trying to fuck with him at that yeah point. they're just like I, I, I think, like, those mantises were not even considering eating it. They're like, what the fuck is that? Like, guys, guys, guys. Yeah. Let's break it. And then they just, yeah. like, bash it. And then when, like, he shows up, they play, like, the soccer game. He gets, like, smacked yeah. in the face yeah, yeah, by yeah, the yeah, rock. Yeah. I'm like, this guy is not having the best life. Yeah. His dad just hit him, in, hit him with his tail by accident. He was just yeah. this weird little guy that just showed up. Yeah, and then, and then like, yeah, Godzilla gets, like, smacked in the face with, like, a so- like like a, a soccer ball rock basically yeah like again he's not having it like he was playing soccer with them and then like hey check this out yeah. see this are you watching are you watching i just hit your kid <laughs> it's like ah, yeah dad yeah and, <laughs> Help. And, and, i i just love that godzilla kind of like like just half half grudgingly like, sort of like looks back at him he's like why did you get hit? You should have dodged it. <laughs> Be a man. Do something about yeah, it. Come yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. God, God, Godzilla's like the the ultimate like he. Godzilla was like the boomer dad before boomer dads existed. Yeah. I was like, why are you why are you crying? Get back up. Yeah. Get back up now. Yeah. Get, get back up. Fight like sh- fight shoot, your own battles. Shoot, shoot a laser at him. <laughs> and he I, was just born. Yeah. He was literally born like two minutes ago, and and already Godzilla's like you know. You gotta pull yourself up from your bootstraps. You can't can't expect me to do everything for you. We just met. We just. Met. I don't know. I don't even know you. You're are you, are you my dad? Do I, I? I don't even know right now. <laughs> Cause like they don't even look the same. I don't even know. I don't know. I even know if you're mine. Wait, no, you're mine actually. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it, you grew. You're mine. Yeah, yeah, because because like at some point, got you know, baby Godzilla does like you know the the roar and then the 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 laser. So it's kind of obvious. Oh, that I was him. thinking about like how the island lady just like oh, yeah, yeah. magically like here, let me just throw this fruit at you with my great arm and just yeah. like threw like nothing like. <laughs> What arm do you have? Yeah, to do that. Speaking of that, the the island lady. Um, the, so so the thing is, is that uh, with some Godzilla films that like like especially like the Mothra films, I think in particular, there's a lot of like uh focus on like you know like the island native peoples, which yeah. in to be honest, it's never really specific because like I'm assuming it's like talking about like Polynesian or some type of like uh fucking like american somao sort of like esque thing but again it's like literally like just an amalgamation of different people so it's like ethnic uh peoples of islands and i'm just like i right, cool whatever but i'm pretty sure that that's not that woman's skin color no i'm 80 percent sure that's not it either but mm-hmm. i also think just like well he keep in mind if this was like you know an american film or, you and I both know they would do the same thing. Just yeah, like, like if know, it was American, yeah, it'd be like a tar, it'd be like a Tarzan situation. Yeah, in general, just like oh my god, it's a native. That's a white guy named Craig. Yeah, how like, do you know he has his name tag on him? <laughs> you can see it literally under his shirt, guys. He's not even gross looking. He looks it looks like he just got out of his trailer. Yeah, hey yeah. There. Like, and then that's y- it. Yeah, it's like it's like it, it, it does like the basics of like that sort of thing. Yeah. I will say like it it there is like a plot point that I don't fully understand where it's like i guess her dad was like a japanese scientist i didn't buy it (laughs) no like i thought it was a tarzan thing (laughs) no like literally like literally it's so insignificant in like the grand scheme of the story that like it like it literally did not matter that much other than like one plot point that i wrote down notes and even i didn't remember like what it was about but like ostensibly Uh, he was on island He, he brought him with her for like bring your kid to work day he yeah. died, I guess, and then, like, she just spent her days on the island with, like, you know, 
a horse size bugs yeah and like, what's really weird about that too is just like seeing it it's, i saw it twice mm-hmm. I, I did my homework for this audience i did my homework he, he did the real work i did the real work i had to watch it twice <laughs> <laughs> even though i wanted to talk about it but mm-hmm. um what i noticed is just like you know the bugs that they use just like look out it's a bug and it's yeah. just like the model from like the monster fights which is really yeah. funny to see like yeah in perspective how big they are like oh it's, yeah you know that's pretty big and then you yeah. see him like fight godzilla like oh man they spent a lot of time on that yeah and then they just shoot him like <sighs> yeah that was the other thing i guess is kind of like um the 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 native girl is kind of more so there to just be like the 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 main guy's sort of love interest who is just... oh i considered stalker situation <laughs> Actually, yeah, no, it basically is. Yeah, because when I saw it the first time, and she's like, "What are you doing, dude? You take a picture of her?" It's just like, yeah. you know, like, oh, it was like, yeah. no, come back. Wait, yeah. you believe me, right? There was a woman, dude. Yeah, like you creeped me out. <laughs> I, I was gonna say, like, it is, it, it, it kind of makes a little bit more sense because, like, the other dude was like, "There's literally no one else on this island besides us." And dude, he's there's like, only men here. <laughs> yeah, there's only beef here, dude. I've I've been in a room with like twelve dudes. Yeah. If there was, I would have seen one by now. Yeah. But right now, I'm just dealing with Craig, who's my roommate. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have to tell you, man. Craig is in every single film on these islands. Craig is in every fucking island. But, like, the thing... But, yeah, like... And, and yeah, she's she's kind of just there to be the love interest. Which, no, and yeah. also, also, I have to say, kind of, like, shows the date movie aspect of it pretty well. Because it's, like... I don't think a lot of the other Godzilla films had, like, love interest, like, aspects to it. They really never did. Yeah, because, like... I'm trying to think of, like, I can only think of, like, other kaiju films, but not specifically, like, um, um, like, Godzilla films in specific, because, like, other kaiju films, like, it's usually, like, the King Kong stuff. Yeah, it's usually, like, monkey, like, giant ape monkey falls in love with blonde woman. Yeah. And then but, takes because he simps over, and then yeah. Godzilla's just more like, the fuck's going on? Yeah, Godzilla ain't got no time for that, because he's got a kid to raise. He's, he's gotta a, raise a kid. He, he's a single father, he's an independent single father, and he's gotta find his way, alright? In some versions. In some versions. <laughs> not not this version. He's just more like, why the, oh man. Yeah. <laughs> man, not, I got a kid he, now. <laughs> uh, Godzilla's more like, like, he'll be a father when it's convenient for him yeah, yeah when it's convenient when it's convenient for him like a business proposition yeah yeah like wait you're saying i get a tax write-off <laughs> wait i get a tax write-off i have his kid yeah sign me up and then yeah, sign me up yeah but like uh, you never told me they were screaming all the time <laughs> oh yeah i forgot about the fact that it's a child Ugh. yeah but uh, and the, he also yeah. used like donkey noises when he was having a tantrum yeah actually actually i want to talk about that i want to talk oh, about really it because... like yeah notes on that shit so okay so one of the sound effects for um the 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 for for, for baby godzilla for minya what was it is like i am almost like a hundred percent certain it's the same sound effect used for the tuscan raiders in star wars like it sounds like the exact same to me. Like to me, it just sounds like a donkey. Well, it does, but the thing is, like the Tuscan Raiders also sound like donkeys. So, like, I wonder if, like, maybe it's just like George Lucas found a stock sound effect and he's like, "Hey, that sounds like it's from Son okay, of Godzilla." I could, I could, I could use this. I could it's use me, this. George Lucas. <laughs> that's <laughs> not even the best. Person. I was gonna say that that's totally what George Lucas I sounds could, like. I could use this right now. <laughs> George Lucas sounds more there like Mister Plinkett. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> he's just rubbing the, the sand people just faces and all that yeah or like the screen of like god baby godzilla having a yeah. tantrum on the tv yeah. i don't know maybe i I, I i i just love the, the the visual of like like a print of like a uh, son of godzilla is just playing at george lucas's home and he like turns to his his staff and crew's like you see well, that that's that it that's that's what I'm looking for right here. See that, that sound. shit? That's, that's what... what I want. That's what I goddamn want <laughs> in my goddamn space movie. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, and everyone's just like, okay, George, why are you showing us good son of Godzilla? <laughs> You're gonna believe me! And then he just threw the remote. It's very <laughs> dramatic. You're like, I saw this in my dream! I saw this! <laughs> He, he like flips over a table and flips like, over a table he gets the biggest tantrum ever they do what he wants he has the idea yeah i wonder i want i wonder <laughs> i wonder if 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 george lucas still sees uh minya in his dreams i, I hope so i hope so too i, I hope, hope so i hope it haunts his waking nightmares yeah <laughs> but anywho just like that crash <laughs> <laughs> god but like the thing is is like it is just interesting to me that like you know a lot of this is kind of just like an inconsequential like oh like scientists on an island trying to fix their stuff and then it just like 
as if almost like it's like a subplot and like a goofy like comedy series cuts back to like godzilla and his kid just trying to yeah. like bond i'm glad we're finally i'm glad we're finally getting on that because yeah. like you know you see like the goofy music be that you see him like you know all like version two of his costume like yeah. you know like he looks more like godzilla because i think when the studio saw it, it was just me yeah like saw it's just like what's that that's yeah that's his son no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, it is. This looks like a weird walrus without any tusk. Well, will you try making something? Well, make him yeah. look him like look like him, but yeah. smaller. Make him look like, more like an actual kid. Make him look like a chubby kid. I don't care. Just do something. Yeah. And then they just made that one, which you know I get. Like the plant, the fruit thing helped him grow, but yeah. I don't buy it because, like, to him, yeah. that's, like, a crumb. Yeah, like, like it, it was, like, like a durian, basically. And then it's, like, oh, wow, I have now grown 15 million, like... Or it's, uh, like, a weird vitamin. Like, a weird yeah. pill that you take. <laughs> it's like that. Godzilla takes his Flintstones gummy. Yeah, and then he got big. <laughs> he got big. So. I like that more. He, like, he took his Flintstone, and then he just, like, got a little big. And then, like, you see him, like, mess with his dad. Like, at first, it was just, like, harmless... Yeah. You know, like, playing, like, you know, jump over the tail and then fall, like, lean and then fall over. Yeah. Because, like, my God, dude, you are... Yeah. Everything's falling apart for you. <laughs> and then, like, later when, like, those, like, you know, the lovebirds yeah, are just, like... Lovebirds. I say forced lovebird situation. Kind of, yeah. yeah. It, 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 it's not, like, actually forced within the story, but it feels like I it mean, is. they chase each other. I see, like, get over here. Oh, yeah. it's a stay away. Get, a, get yeah. over here. <laughs> Come he, here. I just want to... I just want to take some pictures. He, he turns into fucking that one guy from Mortal Kombat. Yeah, it's just he gets he gets more aggressive. But besides, after they're done chase, chasing each other, yeah, like they just unquote. see like you know like uh, the man explain like man, Godzilla's a tough dad. He just wants him to study over and over. And then yeah. you just see him like you know tr- like trying to strike him twice, which I find very funny. Like Jesus yeah, Christ, I like, thought he only did it once. It's it's, it's just so funny because it's like. It, 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 it is, like, such an unnecessarily, like, weirdly cruel thing to, like, b- bring upon your characters that are literally just, like, big lizard creatures. Yeah. Like, and this, and this was how they decided that they would make Godzilla more personable. You just him. gotta make him throw him to hit his kid yeah. in front of him until he does it. That's how it's relatable, right? That's how the kids are gonna relate to it. You know, they could have just, like, at least just not do that and just step on it because it yeah. could have still worked. Yeah. But it's just... It's so funny how he just to see him like throwing him like you yeah. better do it yeah just do it do it yeah you're gonna we you're, ain't going no but nowhere until you do it you're gonna <laughs> we're not going on until you finish your veggies I mean shoot your laser <laughs> you're gonna hit that baseball until it become the best <laughs> the best <laughs> baseball player out there if I can't have the dream you can I'll force it upon you you're gonna be the best in the monster league if it if it means you're gonna be out here for twenty hours a day <laughs> that's what I got I got off of it yeah. and again like. Like, we could be right. It could be based on, like, the right, like, one of the writers. Yeah. And keep in mind, like, you know, 1967. Yeah. I was going to say... It's 19- that era. Yeah. No, it was, it was going to say 1967. Definitely still the era where, like, yeah, no, like, again, like, I joke, like, haha, relatable, but, like, honestly, it probably was, unfortunately. It really was, like... That's so why I can't. I can't really watch. Like I like to watch old movies, but then I see like the preference of just like, no, you better stay with me. It was like, yeah, like the fuck's going on like, in this situation. Just, you're, just, you're just like, ha ha ha, what the fuck? <laughs> it's like the fuck. Anybody else saw that? That's just me. Okay, it's what? like, all right, all right, cool. I guess. Yeah. I guess. Like, but like, no, it is. It is. Uh, it is. It is interesting because like you know, again, this this film is trying to represent like. The idea of childhood through big lizards, and yet yeah. it is still coming back on those elements. So I guess like humanization, uh, just for a giant like radioactive lizard that shoots fire beam, and then he steps on its tail. He does it. He's proud, yeah. and then like you know, you see the kid go on his own adventure, trying to take down. And then he saw the spider, and then he fucked. He got fucked over. Like no help. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, 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 oh fucking uh, Spiga, the big, big, big spider monster. Yeah, and... that caught me off guard. Like ah, oh, yeah. That's why I. <laughs> damn it that's why i didn't like the part of this movie because i was like i feel like there's something i hate in this movie yeah and it was that giant spider I hated yeah that. But I, it was so, good though it was good oh okay i thought you were saying that in like a, it sucks kind of way and not no, because it's like just, it's a giant spider no, it, it's a giant spider the, i don't like spiders yeah no like i i think that's that's honestly probably like one of the one of my favorite elements is like this the spider like 
not animatronic, but I guess like more like puppet, right? I like the puppet. Yeah, I, I think they did a good job on the puppet, where he like he dies over, falls in his bag, and then pop backs in. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I thought that was clever. Yeah, and it, and it really like moves in a way that like is actually fairly convincing to me. And yeah, it gives me the fucking willies, so I kind of agree with you on that yeah. element of it. It has this weird, pretty purple two eyes, and then it has like you know. It's, default black ones yeah but then it just shoots like that weird mist thing on baby godzilla yeah like like like, like the web mist basically quit web and then you see like godzilla quit whipping all my kids yeah yeah and then like oh shit dad's down help your dad yeah. shit shit <laughs> it's like oh shit i gotta bit off more than i could chew like, help me son help me <laughs> he's like stay away from my boy i'll kick your ass <laughs> shit that guy was bigger than me son i'm tapping you back in yeah. fuck <laughs> damn, damn the spider got hands <laughs> damn he's got hands okay. that, that's kind of what i got out of it for like the second round, which you know yeah. it made him back to being like you know a good dad yeah and all that but then yeah. like i'll still never forget the time he threatened to hit his kid twice <laughs> yeah i will say it is also kind of like the way the note that this film ends on is weird not just because of like the the the, the environmental thing i was talking yeah. about but also because like it is a weirdly poignant and sad feeling it is to like that ending because like godzilla gets his good dad moment and they fight off the big big old spider thing or whatever yeah they did but it's like in the snow and like godzilla's they catch like it trying... on fire yeah they just burn it it's yeah, just they... like die it, it, it is like burning while in the snow and like baby godzilla is like crawling to like godzilla as he's like walking away and it's something weirdly sad about it <laughs> and i'm like why uh, why this was just like a silly goofy movie why are we ending on this weirdly like sad moment i think maybe also the direction i didn't know where to go to because like yeah you know it's just like yeah it was supposed to be more of a lovey-dovey thing yeah but trying to do that for a monster movie is very tricky for him yeah in general like i could be super fucking wrong Mm -hmm. on this but i feel like halfway production is just like we don't like the original ending. What? We don't yeah. like the original ending. It doesn't make any sense. Like, can we freeze it? Yeah. Yeah. Come up with something else. And yeah. Like, yeah. They had an idea for it. They didn't like it. I doubt, I, I doubt I'm right. But it's just like, maybe it was but, something. Yeah. I could see that, honestly. Yeah. Cause like, if, to be honest, it does feel like we got to have a, like some semblance of an emotional catharsis to end yeah. this off. And they just sort of plucked it in because they're like, oh fuck, wait, we, we, we filmed the movie. We don't have anything. Uh, get get the snow set again. We already spent a lot of money on the suits. We just we just need to come up with something. Let's just let's do something. Yeah. They're on a boat. I yeah. don't know. We spent the rest of our mu- of our budget on the snow, which we do. Uh, just use the snow again. <laughs> use the snow again. <laughs> Fucking use it. Just keep using it. Okay, we got we listen. We got this set for like one more day. We got we we we're gonna finish this movie if it kills us. I actually do love how the set, like you know, like the main set, like start off pretty damage to like completely destroy because godzilla's like oh what's this shit Ew. yeah it's, it's just, it's just like complete like collateral damage not only just like environmentally but like quite literally to like the entire island because they're just like fucking it up like just blowing shit up all the time also and there is one other thing i like to talk about mm. the the people like the people because i will say like you know they have these guns and they shot those bugs like nothing like damn these guys yeah. are actually causing effect to something this is a new, yeah. it's surprising because like you know when you see like those type of things like the military or just like some people with guns try to shoot at something it does nothing yeah these yeah. things like what do you mean this is doing effect yeah i was gonna say it's like that is kind of a notable thing because like uh, a big thing with like a lot of godzilla is like the military is like quite useless until like the last act of the story in some yeah. way and it is kind of interesting here too because like they aren't necessarily military they're just like groups of scientists no yeah, yeah. but it's just still surprising to see how they're all like they're packing yeah like they're packing and are decently like capable of like fending off the monsters until no. you know they get like big radioactivity up in that shit you know yeah. even then like they shot down they were taking they're getting rid of like giant grasshopper thing. yeah i don't even know the bug but like i could be wrong yeah i there was there was a name for that i forget what it was either way i'm impressed that they were able to shoot oh. that like nothing yeah and even like the spider like go after one of them they just hit it, like the fuck off my friend get yeah, off like they, just they, like what the hell these they, guys are tough yeah these, these guys are willing to like go at it if need to be and it is kind of funny in comparison to like literally like every single other like you know human characters in godzilla films which are just basically like fight godzilla oh shit that didn't work what uh, do you mean bye. those nukes didn't work? What do you mean he got big? What do you mean? What do you mean my wife's dead? <laughs> what do you mean this this creature that absorbs radiation was not d- 
destroyed by our nukes. What do you mean? <laughs> what, what do you mean by that? What do you mean we need to nuke him again to give him to bring him back to life? And bring, nuke him again to make it work. <laughs> what do you mean we gotta do that to boost him up again? What do you mean we need him? <laughs> I thought we didn't need him. <laughs> what do you mean this is a parable about the, the horrible effects of nuclear warfare? Nuke him again. <laughs> Let's do it again. Do it again. Let's dude. make a storm out of it. We didn't. We, listen, if we did three times, we're gonna do four. Okay. You know, a weird perspective on that too is just like you never see people worry about the casualties. Yeah, because like you expect everybody got away safely, but in reality, a lot yeah. of people are dead. Yeah, I was gonna say it's like, yeah, and it is kind of funny considering like you know these are some light-hearted films like later yeah. on the Showa era, but like not like loads of people died. They 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 definitely got squished. But the thing is oh, like definitely this one like. I mean, it's probably implied that there were more people on the island beforehand, but, like, yeah. in the film itself, like, no one really, like, died for real except for, like, you know, the big scary monsters that aren't Godzilla. That's about it. Like, no major deaths happened whatsoever. The main scientist was, like, I think he was just more surprised, like, oh. Yeah. You're still here. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I mean, it's just. <laughs> yeah, it's like, how did you, hey, how did you not die from our literal, like, radiation, like, storm outside? You should have, like, super cancer right now. You see, the thing about that is if you don't think about it, it won't happen. True. Because <laughs> this is the 60s. Yeah. Anyways, have a cigarette. Yeah. And also, uh, here's a, a, here's here's five different drinks uh, laced with lead. Yeah. Don't worry. These bottles contain lead. We'll be okay. Yeah. <laughs> and also, uh, hey, have you ever been, have you ever tried a b asbestos yet? <laughs> Not yet. I'm going to Chernobyl soon. <laughs> I'm going, I'm visiting Chernobyl. I'm taking a vacation in Chernobyl. Uh, for how long? Oh, uh, uh, well, I, was, but, well I, I bought it years ago. It was like 1987, 18, mm -hmm. 89 at least, mm -hmm. around the 80s. Yeah. I'll be fine. Nothing. I'm going to retire there. It's going to be nice. It's going to be nice. <laughs> Nothing bad ever happened in Chernobyl. <laughs> <laughs> it goes back to Chernobyl. God, this is yeah. what happened in the past three years. I've been obsessed with radiation, like documents yeah. and all that shit. That's. Um, I just, I just, I just had a really terrible thought in my mind. Go ahead. If if if, if, if Chernobyl happened in like the Godzilla universe, do you think Godzilla would use it like his spa day? I like to think it would be, because mm. like. If it's a radiated place, I feel like that would be it. Yeah, like like he goes there's like, "Oh man, I feel rejuvenated again." It's like yeah. it's 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 like going to like the it's going to like like get a massage basically. Like Godzilla goes to like Chernobyl and is like, "Ah, oh, man, I feel good as new." Yeah. Like I would like to believe like when it comes to like a governmental thing, like Godzilla's ours and then yeah. like in a real like, "Oh shit, we can't control help." <laughs> so please send <not> help. <laughs> this just in Godzilla sides with the with, the, with Ukraine and Russia. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking, at least, because like, if it's like in a world of that, which I know it doesn't do Baby Godzilla, and we'll get we'll get back to him. Yeah, it's just more like I could definitely see an aspect like that happen. Yeah, where it's just more like part of that world, like part of that like world would just be more like nose like in no man zone. Yeah, situation basically. Situation where like big monsters would live, or like it'd be like a giant crater type of thing. Yeah, I feel like that. But anyways, back to the son of Godzilla. Yeah, ba it's ba very bizarre. Yeah. <laughs> it is very bizarre, and I think like there's. I, it, it is interesting because, like, uh, so the previous film that I discussed, Destroy All Monsters, was a case of, like, it is a very silly movie that you could not really make a whole lot of interesting analysis about. Because, like, for example, uh, me and Marco talked about uh, GMK, yeah. where there was, like, a whole thing about, like, the souls of, like, those who died during World War Two being, like, yeah. the spirits, like, guiding Godzilla or something like that. And it was, like, th that thematically is, like, really interesting. And then, like, Destroy All Monsters, like, what if fucking... Aliens. Every, every monster. Uh, hear me out. Yeah. Every monster <laughs> pops out of nowhere. Yeah. And then they fight. Yeah. That, what, what, a, a movie that is on the on the basis of like, what if fucking Godzilla curb stomped King Ghidorah? What would that be like? And this one is kind of in a similar territory to that where it's like, what if Godzilla had a baby? Yeah, it's like that. It's like, I like how you guys want to more like, you know... Like, you know, more like a deep an analyzation of just like that Godzilla mind. It's just like, he has a kid he and a it's baby. a date movie. How it's, quirky is that? Yeah, it's, it's, it's just like a silly, quirky date movie. Yeah. But at the same time, like, I don't know. There, there, I feel like it shows up in cracks because like... It does. Like, like the fact of the... Of the 
the radioactive um, device to like change the weather is kind of brushed off as like it really a non-issue. Is. Like, cause like in in the, in the they group, made it sound yeah. foolproof. They really did. It's just yeah. like this is gonna work. Yeah, it's going to work. It's going to work. It's definitely going to work. I don't see your problem, this yeah. bucko. Yeah. This is gonna work. I don't care what your gut says. It's going to work. Yeah. Well, we tried. Um. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the other. Jim, you look different. Yeah, I'm dying from cancer. I'm dying oh. from cancer. <laughs> you're, but, hey, you're all red. That's yeah. weird. What do you mean you're itchy? Yeah. What's that pus right there? Oh, you're dying. Why is your skin peeling off? Hey, I don't feel good. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I don't. But, feel... <laughs> but like, <laughs> but like that. That's the thing that I find interesting. Though, they don't with, really like, go in depth about but it. But like, like the fact is, is that like they kind of see the thing as a success because it worked later on. But like the fact is of the matter is like one thing fucked up and then they created like a radioactive like storm to destroy yeah. the island and i just can't help but like think of like isn't this kind of like a parallel to like creating the atom bomb in a way it really is because like i mean like the atom bomb was created with the intent of destruction obviously but the fact is that both were capable of horrific destru- destruction in some way shape or form but like the thing is here it was like oh no but like they were just using it for like scientific uh ways that were going to be helpful to like changing the weather even though changing the weather was turning a tropical island into a fucking tundra yeah and now it's a deadly weapon again yeah like, now oh it, we like, made another weapon yeah Shit. And, and they never used it again yeah and i feel like in other godzilla films that would have been addressed probably a bit more but like it is just kind of funny because of the fact that this is literally just like it's a silly date movie it's got son of godzilla in it and it's like i feel like there's some implications here though in the universe of this story Especially when you consider, again, it's a Godzilla film. Godzilla was created through this radioactive, like, technology. And then dudes were like, what do we just fucking use radioactive technology to change the weather? And I'm just like, hey, you you live in the same universe as Godzilla, right? Yeah. Do do you not understand how how much of an issue this is? No. (laughs) No. Nah. Nah, it's chill, actually. Not other other thoughts I could have in mind with this film. The more I think about it, it's just like, and it's a date movie, but it's also for like what to do when your wife leaves you. Just think about it. Just like you know, ah, fun romantic thing. All right, so you have this kid, right? Uh, Yeah. Um, teach him how to play sports. Yeah. Don't try to hit him. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. Just, it's... I think like two, maybe two scripts were just like, you know, built from like, you know, yeah. oh, let's do a romantic star. All right. Yeah. Um, like I just got divorced. Um, yeah, I, I got to watch my kid. It was, it was, it was, it was the, ch- the, the, ch- the Toho gave the writers the challenge of give us a movie that's a date film, but also for like divorced dads. Yeah, to take your kids. To yeah. take your kids. G- give, make a movie for divorced dads who bowl. <laughs> just, just, just for divorced dads yeah. who are just like, yeah. you know, your kid want, their kids just, their kids want to see this movie, but then it's romantic, and then they feel depressed, and they say like, oh, Godzilla, it's just. Yeah. He's just like me. He's just, He's like, just me. like me. I, I threw it at my kid all the time. Oh my god. <laughs> He's just like me for real. He's just like me. Oh my god. I doubt anybody yeah. cried in that, but it's just in my world. It's just... Listen, listen. Any ever, the, the human experience is vast. There's probably someone who cried while watching Son of Godzilla because they were also a divorced dad. <laughs> divorced dad. Yeah. <laughs> except, except, you know, I don't think most dads were probably divorced from like fucking gorosaurus or rodan no, no yeah it's just more of like it'll be a fun yeah. thing to see that happen but just like maybe even like later in the future when somebody watches that with their kids it's just like yeah. <gasps> oh man i'm godzilla. <laughs> godzilla godzilla be like me for real for real god i'm just but like <laughs> man <laughs> so so to 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 give to to cap it off a little bit, oh god, <laughs> Godzilla, Godzilla's um the Godzilla Showa entry movie, Son of Godzilla, really do be divorced dad core. <laughs> that should that should be the title, just divorce Godzilla, divorce father. <laughs> yeah, it is it, it is <laughs> go through divorce. <laughs> uh, Godzilla, king of divorced dads. Yeah. It's like, it's like he got served and then realized he has to go back to the island. Like Godzilla, yeah, yeah you've been served. What the fuck? Damn it! Yeah, no, yeah, you, 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 just, you just see like in the in the scene when like the plane like flies over him. He yeah. just like has like a massive uh, van- vanilla envelope. Yeah. with him. it looks like they were striking. They just gave it to you. Read it like, oh. Yeah. 
I'm just like I'm just like imagining the fucking um um like like he's 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 like in the middle of like a fight with like Mothra. And yeah, then, he's like a fight with somebody, yeah. and then like this plane comes in, throws envelopes, says yeah. Godzilla. They Mothra or whatever stops like. Yeah, you gonna read that? Yeah. What? Yeah. That that's yours. Oh. Ah yeah. oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, well, like, oh, shit. <laughs> and then well, that's it. <laughs> listen, here's here's what I'll say at least. At least. There have been instances of Godzilla being able to be a good dad. No, yeah, there in is. The it's just, there is in the future. In the future, in the future like yeah. in the more '90s stuff, there yeah. is. It's just in like you know in that yeah. time, it was really like that's the normal here. Yeah. What's the issue? Yeah. So it's just if and you know. and if you and if you really want like Godzilla being a good dad, there's actually a short film called uh, Coming Out that is about like. I th- it, it, it was a uh, short film that someone made where Godzilla's uh, kid comes out as trans, and it was really sweet, but the thing that I find really funny about it is that Toho actually acknowledged it and did not, like, be like, hey, don't make fa- a fan content of us. <laughs> they, they, it, Toho was like, nah, you're actually chill, so... Oh, so I'm, okay. So, I was worried, I was like, what did they do? <laughs> yeah, no, no, Toho, Toho, like, actively, like, retweeted and acknowledged it, so it is canon that... Not only does Godzilla have a son, but a daughter. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. And also, and also, Godzilla treats his daughter better than his son. <laughs> okay, so he still hits his kid. Yeah, I was gonna. No say, matter what. You so, so, so. Yeah, I was gonna say, nah, Manila is still. I don't want to say that. I, was, I, wanna... I was gonna say, Minya is still like a little shit in Godzilla's eyes, but like. I don't know what the name of the Heisei era Godzilla baby is, but yeah, God, Godzilla is su- supportive of his trans daughter, but not his dumbass son. <laughs> no, it's, diff- it's levels. I think it's levels of generation. Yeah. Like one Godzilla learn, like I'm not gonna hit my kid. Yeah, I'm gonna learn to be better. Yeah. It's like that. yeah, I was gonna say God, Godzilla's <laughs> progressed. Godzilla's progressed. Also, with that being uh, said, I get the sense Minya is probably like 20 by the by this point. Uh, in the I age. think so. I definitely think so. But with that being said. Do you want to give your final thoughts on the film, or uh, do you have any extra thoughts you'd like to give? Not really. That's pretty much all I have on this film. Is like you know, like different perspective on just divorced fathers trying to like figure out like I am Godzilla, but the <laughs> bad image is like maybe I should do it to my kid, threaten yeah. him, <laughs> yeah. threaten, threaten to do something. <laughs> mm-hmm. Do you think? Do you think this? Do you think this movie could be like an enlightening moment for divorced dads because when yes. they realize. <laughs> When they, when they, not, not just be like, you know, Godzilla like me for real, but be like, wait, I see myself in a literal monster. Maybe I should change for the better. I, yes. Or do you think like dads, uh, divorced dads are like, this is my Patrick Bateman? <laughs> yes. <laughs> either, either way. Like it could be like their awakening of realizing I am the monster or just like, wow, that Godzilla hits my, hits his kid like I do. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's weird. That's, that's just, <laughs> damn. That's interesting. Also, I have to, I have to say, <laughs> God, I, I, it's literally, it's, it, I, I don't, I don't mean to call you out specifically, but I, I like the fact that you coded Godzilla is like a fucking like new york dad that was fucking him not me that was marco not me <laughs> <laughs> okay cool I'll, I'll i'll blame marco for coding godzilla as like, like the a... room or just more of like me <laughs> no i was no i was say, i was saying i was saying like you, you the, the 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 voice you gave godzilla is like oh yeah <laughs> why 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 does godzilla have like a new york dad voice i don't know oh i was thinking <laughs> i just feel like he would <laughs> you know what yeah i mean i feel like he would yeah, well, you know, like Godzilla. I thought you meant the room, like it is Godzilla themed. Oh no! Right here, like there's a fuck. Yeah, this for, for 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 all podcast listeners, this this place is like filled with like a shitload of like Godzilla memorabilia behind me. But no, I it really was, is. But like I was, I was saying more like because I love your the voice. You, I gave it. You, you gave Godzilla like a, a like a New York dad voice because you're like, eh, son, fucking, you gotta get better at this. Like you better get fucking better at this game, or I swear to God, I'm not yeah. taking you to de- yeah. Bask- Ra- Baskin Robbins or something. But dad, I love Baskin Robbins. I don't give a shit. You gotta hit the ball and be the best basketball basket basketball baseball player ever. I don't know. I don't know. Hit the ball. Hit the ball. Hit the ball off the bat. Or Dad, there, there, I don't is know. No, there is no ball. I'm Godzilla. I can't I can't afford a ball. Kick that rock. <laughs> Kick that rock. I, <laughs> you, you know that 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 giant mantis hit you with the ball like it's a shocker ball. You Be gotta a man. It. Step up. You show gotta, what's up. You gotta throw the ball back. You show gotta, what's up. Show who's man. Yeah. If you're not a man, you're not my son. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I got off of it too. Yeah, that's like, my last thoughts on that. Yes, Godzilla is 
New York dad divorce core. <laughs> divorce father from New York. Yeah. Does not have to keep on his kid. Yeah. So so if you're if you're listening to this podcast and you're divorced dad from New York, represent. Or... <laughs> represent. <laughs> be better. Be, yeah, also, be better. Don't. Yeah. Also, be better. <laughs> be better. Don't be the. Don't be the opposite version. Be the message of you might be a monster yeah. either way. Yeah. Could have been. Maybe it's not your fault either. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe each situation is different. Yeah. Like who? Who? Who really knows? But you do. Yeah. But but <laughs> <laughs> you do. You do. But Just take uh, out this man that doesn't exist. But 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 to to round up my final thoughts on the film though, I'd say. Honestly, I quite enjoy this one, even for its, like, cornier, like, aspects of it. I think, like, if, if I have to, like, give any faults to it, it's just that, like, the, 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 the romance subplot is, like, it, it it's, it's there. It's, yeah. it, it just exists, and it's kind of, like, it, 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 like, after reading on the, on, like, the production history of the film, it, like, it makes so much more sense why... It is the way that it is, you know? Makes a lot more sense after watching it, after watching it twice. Yeah. So, like, I, I I won't fold it, like, too much for that, but also I have to say, like, it is definitely, like, the weakest aspect, but I had a lot of fun with it. I think it's, I had, I had fun with it. It's a good 80-minute little, like, goofy adventure thing, and, you know, like, listen, it gives me, it, it gives me more fun than, like, some of the other, like, show era entries where it's just, like, what is this about? It's about a greedy businessman. Oh, cool. Here we go again. Here we go again. Yeah. and but, It's about an evil company. Oh, boy. Yeah. This monster from waste. Oh, it's from waste. Yeah. It's and, Godzilla with a wife beater. Yeah. <laughs> wife beater tank top. Like, oh, yeah. my God. What's happening here? Yeah. It's <laughs> like, <laughs> that's the new aspect of it. That's the only thing that's interesting here. Is but, it bad? I want to, like, like, get one of Margo's Godzillas and just make a little tank top for him with a bottle. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. <laughs> you know. find it. Listen. You know, maybe. <laughs> Maybe, maybe, maybe it really is truly the spirit of Godzilla to be, be like, you know, like, well, one dead version be dead. Of one, one version of yeah. him. Listen, listen, some, someone out there's probably made, like, deadbeat Godzilla, like, uh, art out there somewhere. We could probably find that. Name them, it's gonna be me. You're it's gonna, gonna be me. You're gonna make it. I'm gonna make it for this podcast. I don't know. That's too, that's too much work. I was, I'll commission you. Oh, fuck. I'll pay you $25 Oh, it's 25 I'll, I'll pay you $25 for Godzilla cuddling King Kong. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> but um, all right. <laughs> but but to round off my final thoughts, I enjoy it. I think it's fun. It's stupid, but like it's 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 my kind of stupid, and I enjoy it quite a bit. But now we get into like the real meat, the real thing, the got the the monster rankings. All right. Now I'll leave it. Uh, I'll leave you on it first. Okay. Um. Uh, okay. So first, ugly Godzilla baby son. The the, the one looks like Danny DeVito. I'll give him an S. On um, the new version, S-tier. I'll give him an F because I like the gross little rotisserie <laughs> chicken one. Um, <laughs> Godzilla, uh, Godzilla one that has the weird eye. I'll put you on B. The other Godzilla guy who's had to switch, I'll yeah. give you, a, I'll give you an A. On mm-hmm. um, the bugs, you know, I like the bugs. They made yeah. three. They made three of them. Yeah, I'll give it an S. The big spider. Um, I do. Ugh, I hate spiders, but I do like the design. I do like yeah. how they, they put a lot of dedication. So I'll give yeah. it a B. I'll give it a B. Yeah, you give <laughs> that's it a- that's my list. Yeah. So for me, uh, my uh, rankings with so like you know Godzilla, you know both versions. He he he, goofy looking. He got that like derpy eye like shit going on. But like I I think he's. A, a still a fun Godzilla, you know, like even lesser versions of Godzilla is good Godzilla. So I'm getting an eight out of ten. Uh, for Minya. I'd have to say like, I'd say like seven. He's cute. I don't give him care. a seven. I like give him a seven. I like how we're both ranking it in different yeah. ways. I'm doing like kind of S tier. Listen, listen. You gotta rank it with your heart. With you my know? heart. Oh, I thought we we're doing that. I was nah. following Marco. <laughs> nah, you, you know. Listen, you, listen. Anyone can rank it whichever way they like. Um, but the giant mantises, they're cool, but they're not my favorite. I give them like a six. But uh, Spiga though, Spiga, give it a nine. Give it a nine. Spiga is pretty dope. I'm a big fan of Spiga. But I think that rounds off our episode for Son of Godzilla. Thank oh, you wow. so much for joining me today on this episode, No Raph. problem. I had fun. Have me anytime. If you want me to watch another goofy version of that 
bastard i'll do it <laughs> i'll do it i'll just only like minya focused epi- movies i mean i'd be down for it because like i enjoy the ugly versions marco hates those i <laughs> love the ugly versions i was gonna say that that the the the, the true like different brother dynamic marco's like i hate that little bitch and then i be love like, him and, and then you're like you come on an entire episode to talk about minya no i'm talking about minya how he just hits his kid <laughs> yeah yeah it's yeah, yeah. just <laughs> yeah you know, marco likes him for the like you know like oh the perspective perspective of how like you know these dead soldiers from world war ii are guiding him me i think he hits his kid yes off screen i think he does it i'm just saying guys listen listen this is this is this is the hard-hitting analysis that you can only you can bring only i can bring okay like i'm glad you invited me and who knows uh, our paths will cross again in another podcast or yeah. the same podcast. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll bring you on for another episode, and maybe it'll be even dumber than Son of God. I'll Lord. enjoy if we can find a dumber one. I am game for it. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm on. <laughs> I'm either gonna find something that's either dumber or m- more actually painful to watch. Like then maybe, both would work. Wh- whichever or one maybe would both. Work. Maybe both. Either one would work. I'd be down to watch to watch it because I can make another murder board. Yeah, I, was, <laughs> I've, I have tons of them in this room. There's so many. Yeah, they're like all across the walls right now. Yeah, it's kind it's, of a bit like scary, actually. It, it gets weird. Yeah, like I see one like with like cats and Taylor Swift. Yeah, it's yeah. that one. It's that one again. Yeah. I still have it. I I yeah. I amplified it even more. Yeah, I see. I see like Minya's on there now too. So yeah, I think it's, maybe. It's been on there maybe I, I guess you updated it recently yeah out of that cat from the simpsons to <laughs> rick and morty you know the yeah. you know the tom kenny one yeah the, t- the, <laughs> the tom, tom kenny. kenny one the tom kenny one the tom kenny cat um that cat from fiona and cake that I'm, we're dating oh. this right now that we're dating yeah. that yeah i was gonna say now that's gonna date this episode be like that's so september 2023 whoa <laughs> anyways thank you for watching thank you all for watching <laughs> or I, listening i don't know how you're yeah. seeing this <laughs> uh most likely listening if you're watching this dude what are you doing use your eyes for like other things you're, do, you're watching the same screen of godzilla in a dress yeah you're watching literally like a pay, that and you know you could be doing like you know your your, your like homework or like your taxes or, or whatever. driving right now yeah, or you're driving and me so yeah get off your fucking phone yeah man but with that being said though i hope you all enjoy this episode and i hope you all have a fantastic mecca and monster mondays peace goodbye goodbye forever what it's a kid there's some kid in the cockpit of the gundam sir